Hi, so in this video, we are going to learn about arithmetic means. So first, let's read the definition. Definition says, when three quantities are in arithmetic progression, then the middle one is said to be the arithmetic mean of other two. That means if we have three numbers like A, B, and C, then B will be called as arithmetic mean of A and C if they are in arithmetic progression, right? So for A, B, and C to be in arithmetic progression, what is the necessary condition? Yes, the difference between the consecutive terms should be same. That means B minus A should be equal to C minus B, right? And if we rearrange these terms, that means if I bring this B over here and take this A to this side of the equal to sign, it will become B plus B equal to C plus A, right? Or we can write 2B is equal to A plus C. Or from here, we can say B is equal to A plus C by 2. So if this B is the arithmetic mean of A and C, then the value of B will be equal to A plus C by 2. Right? So whenever you are asked to find the arithmetic mean of two numbers, you just have to find their average. Right? This is also the average of A and C. Isn't it? Yes, this is how we find the average. We add the quantity and then we divide it by the number of quantities we have added, right? So arithmetic mean of any two number is nothing else but the average of those two numbers, right? So if you are asked to find the arithmetic mean of two given numbers like 2 and 8, and if we are supposed to find the arithmetic mean of these two numbers, it will be equal to 2 plus 8 by 2, which is 10 by 2 and this is equal to 5. So arithmetic mean of 2 and 8 will be 5, right? And yes, they are in arithmetic progression. 5 minus 2 gives us 3 and 8 minus 5 also gives us 3. So they have a common difference of 3 among themselves, right? So this is an arithmetic progression and 5 is the arithmetic mean of 2 and 8. So this is the very simple definition of arithmetic mean and in the next video we will learn how to insert n number of arithmetic means between two given numbers right so for that keep watching MathSmart and to keep updated about the new editions on the channel you have to subscribe to MathSmart.